Dude, that's what yeah, that is, is just nasty. Hey gearheads, and welcome on back to the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. I'm Alan Bailey. It is season four, week 33 here, uh, the final season for the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode for us. Uh, we're racing in the Xfinity and in the Cup Series. Uh, the Xfinity playoffs are about to begin. The Cup Series, um, we're entering an elimination race out of Bristol, but this is the first race of the playoffs for the Xfinity Series. So we were simulating uh, for essentially half the season um, these Xfinity races just to get them out of the way. But now that the playoffs are here, we can go ahead and race them. So let's head out to Bristol for this Xfinity race uh, and see how we do. Let's go. Like, we never left. <laughs> Went ahead and put the thing on the pole out here at Bristol. I'm good at Bristol. It's one of my favorite tracks. So um, I expect to dominate. And we're even in the ticker with the pole win. I dig it. And Landon's going to the back. Don't worry, bud. We'll lap you in about a lap here or two. So we're going to try to take this 10 car back to victory lane for what I think will be our ninth Drive win stay. of the season. Keep your head on straight. Keep your head be ready here. Be ready. I'm ready. Keep Let's go. So the seven car has like three, four wins on the season. So he's the guy who, uh, who really has kind of pulled away, I should say, uh, in our absence. Um, but it's all good. We're, we're back. Uh, the playoffs are here, so uh, hopefully we'll lock ourselves in with this victory. So we have caught the back of the field. Um, you know, it only takes a couple laps for us to do it, so... And I'm taking my time, man. Two to go in this stage. I'm, I'm honestly trying to keep the, the nose of the car as clean as humanly possible. Um, you know, I haven't whacked the wall, haven't whacked, well, door slamming these guys a little bit. Oof. Uh, but uh, trying to keep it clean. That was the white, so, um, you know, we're, we're eight seconds up on the field here, uh, and we're looking at lap in the top 20-some-odd here. Ooh. You know, so we're, 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 we're picking them up and putting them down here. Like we never left. <laughs> <laughs> Riley Herbst second. Come on, this should be a little realistic now. Uh, but we, I don't think, are going to pit here. Um, I don't believe we are. Because the whole, oh, we are. Okay, well, we'll pit four tires, fuel. Uh, there is a little bit of damage, so fix the damage and let's go. Are you ready now? So we lost a spot on pit road to Chase Briscoe, but a uh, former teammate from a few seasons ago, but uh, from our rookie season, actually. Uh, but we will pull away here. Very nice. And hey, if you haven't already, give us a follow over on our social media accounts at Hey Alan Bailey on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. You can also uh, support the channel over on Patreon.com forward slash Hey Alan Bailey. All right. We something happened, so we cut it about three laps short. All good, and we get another stage win. Um, it looks like everybody's going to stay out, so we will stay out as well. Let's go. I'm ready. A little worried about this restart, not going to lie, because Chase is so good. How is Chase not in the in the playoff picture? 11 to go. We have caught the tail end of the field. And progress has stalled to a crawl here. Um, but, you know, we're going to just very delicately try to work through this field. Just moved into the top five, uh, so we're close to lapping the field. It's always the unofficial goal to lap the field at Bristol, um, but uh, uh, you know, five to go. Cautions play a factor with that, so we're looking at um, the rest of the field right here. Actually, Michael Annette somehow is driven up here, um, and uh, with that, we have lapped the field. And now we start to try to lap the field again. Ooh, caution. So we will not be lapping the field, it looks like. Um, but we will stay out, because if we don't, then um, 
the field will... Well, yeah, I'm in a pit. Why not? No fuel Ford tires. Let's go. Are you ready now? I'm ready. ready now? It's a super right. baller move right. when you uh, right. pit from the lead left. after you've left. lapped left. the field left. and you get four freshies and you do that. You just pull away and guarantee a win, basically. And all we have to do now is is, is exactly that. Just pull away and uh, this is ours. Doesn't matter. We can go as hard as we can want to on this restart, which we're doing. Chase is, looks like he's going to finish second if he can hold on for it. But uh, we return to the Xfinity Series in dominating fashion. Whacked the wall a little bit right there, but back in victory lane here in the Xfinity Series. Yeah, yeah. And we advance to the next round of the playoffs. So, and take over the point lead, presumably. And I'll go ahead and I'll burn it down just a little bit. Just a, just, just a little Bernie Bernie down. And smacking it off the wall. So we get the win over Chase right there. Uh, let's check the points. So we advance. Uh, Austin, uh, I would say Allgaier, Brandon Jones, Michael Annette, they're all advancing. But, um, you know, you got Earnhardt Williams, uh, Timmy Hill, Ray Black. Those guys are on the outside looking in, unfortunately, of this playoff picture. And once again... This 10 cars back in victory lane here in the Xfinity Series. We will continue to try to rattle off wins here in the Xfinity Series, but uh, let's head on out. Uh, well, let's go see what kind of car we got for the Cup Series. All right, so looking at the uh, the points heading into um, this elimination race ourselves, Logano, more or less Hamlin, more or less Kozlowski are locked in. Uh, same with Bush, Blaney, and I would say Harvick, but uh, Kurt Busch, MTJ, Boyer, uh, Bowman and Custard still kind of tight. Um, Amarola is three points out. Elliott is three is four points out. Uh, Bubba is twelve points out, and John Hunter is bringing up the rear, eighteen points out. So um, we'll see who makes it and who doesn't. Here we will go with uh, our short track car and head out to Bristol. See if we can get a win. Let's go. I love Bristol. I mean, it's just such a cool track. It is a modern day coliseum. Um, it is a half mile in Bristol, Tennessee, and Bristol go Bristol, Tennessee goes from like the 16th most populated state in Tennessee at the time. Uh, when the race is in town and it's a sellout crowd, it it's like second or something crazy like that. Um, that's how big this place is, and the sound does not leave this place, so um, it literally stays trapped. So Thunder Valley is a very appropriate name. We're starting just outside the top 10, so we'll see if we can get this thing up to the front. I'm ready. Let's go. So the car is okay. Um, I just didn't. I didn't send it into turn one in qualifying like I should have. Um, you know, I I I just had a bad qualifying effort, but it's all good. You know, we just gotta try to fall into a groove here, get some spots where we can here and there. Go a little three wide action, split the difference in the middle here. There we go. Mm, I thought about it for a second, but no, I'm good here. I don't want to try it. Because coming off these turns, everything kind of bottlenecks. But I'll get into the back of Blaney, I guess. That's lovely. Ooh. You got room. You're clear. You got room. You're clear. Didn't mean to get into Truex right there, just he's that much slower in these turns than I am. Just take our time, work our way through this field, slowly but surely. Up to fifth though, by the way. Ooh, hi Matt, how are you? Rubbin's racing, especially at Bristol, so we're all good, up to third. Got two seconds to chase uh, down the 11 car, and I think that's Christopher Bell up there, so a little bit of time. Ooh, I didn't do it. I was catching him. Uh, so, ooh, Brent! Thanks, Brendan. Appreciate it. Had a decent nose, and now, thanks to Brendan gone, we've got a Picasso painting for a hood. That's awesome. So this is going to set us behind the 8-ball, but I'm going to send it down here just 
forget about it. I mean, I, I what, what, what am I going to keep the car in pristine condition at this point? Come on. Stage winner. Thank you. We're already locked into the next round, so we're not really points racing at this point. But, you know, I, I kind of, I want the, well, it's Bristol. I want the win, okay? You know, give me a break here. Um... No one else is pitting because we can't make it from here, so we'll stay out as well. Ready I'm ready, ready let's now. go. So only 13 laps in this stage, so this will go clear. pretty quick. And just like that, we take the lead and we will try to set sail here. And we are working through this back of the field. Ooh, that's what that is. This is just nasty. Yeah, that was aggressive, but I didn't know how else to get through. Ooh, I'm riding. Ooh, yeah, that works. That works, that works, that works, that works. Oof. So we cut it about a lap and a half short. Um, yeah, we, we were in the middle of the lap in the field. Looks like the 21 car spun or something. So um, we only have... 19 cars on the lead lap so that helps us out dramatically but we'll pit from here from the lead here um you know we we don't need a ton of fuel but we're gonna go ahead and um fill her up anyway and we'll go from there here. let's right go here. got one up top got one up top coming to the cross flag to the cross halfway this time by so 32 laps uh, to end this out. Uh, we're we're 10 laps to the good, so I'm not too worried about. I'm not worried about fuel. I'm more worried about tires and keeping the nose clean. Um, you know, and Brad, at least on the restart, these cars have been on us. So, um, you know, it takes it takes about five to 10 laps for the for the tires to come in for me, and, and at that point we set sail. So. Looks like we're we're hanging on to it so far. Thirty to go here. Ooh. So we got about twenty to go. I was just caught the back of the field and caution. Uh, twenty cars on the nineteen cars on the lead lap. It looks like Chad Fincham. Something happened to him, so he's coming down. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll stay out. I'm ready. Let's go. Chris Bell on my outside. I'm kind of amazed that he's running as well as he is in that 95. I guess uh, the latest patch upped his ratings, I guess. And that's something that I hope is in the new game, is uh, an actual rating system uh, similar to what we have in the F1 series um, with the drivers that gets updated through patches regularly depending on how the drivers are running. Um, something that F1 does, it's pretty simple to do. Just I, I hope that uh, motorsports games actually puts that forward and um, I'd be surprised if it's not in the game to be honest with you uh, but we'll see and we are in the back of the pack lapping these guys we got over a seven second lead but you see some playoff guys here that we're lapping we lapped Joey we just lapped Clint so we're working our way through this field slowly but surely I don't like the looks of this at all Bowman's right here he's trapped a lap down Everybody who's like 20th on back is a lap down. Um, so here's the first new guy we're lapping, and that's Daniel Suarez. So we tend to go. I don't think we're going to lap the field, but we're, I don't know, we could see another caution here. We probably will because it's Bristol. Um, but we're working our way through the field. Oof. Denny Hamlin caused a caution, unfortunately, and we were up to 16th. Uh, as far as knocking these guys a lap down, so we'll stay out here with we can get a restart with five to go. Let's go. Ready. Yep. Ready. Green, green, green. green Outside. Green, green. Outside. All right, you're clear. All right, you're clear. Christopher Bell tried to make something happen, but just couldn't get it done on that restart. So we get the jump. You got one to go. Happy that to go. we pulled away. Um, so we finished second in the Southern 500 to open the playoffs, barely getting beaten by Joey Logano on a restart. We get a surprise victory out at Richmond, and we dominate Bristol. 
That's how you start a playoff run. <laughs> we advance to the round of 12 handsomely. Uh, and we will do some burnouts here on the front stretch. Uh, just because we can. Oh, I sent it to the inside a little bit more than I would have liked, but that's okay. Come right back up here. Yeah. Man, two for three to open the playoffs. That's pretty good right there. And I think this is our 12th victory of the season. 13th, maybe? I gotta look. So we get the victory over Chris Bell, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, uh, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, Cole Custer, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones, and William Byron. Let's check the points. You see right there, Bowman, Amarola, Bubba, and Nematruck all eliminated from the playoffs right there. Chase Elliott barely gets into the next round, so Chase survives another round, and our playoff drivers heading into the round of uh, eight are, uh, my, or the round of 12, I should say, myself, Logano, Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Blaney, Harvick, Kurt Busch, Truex, Custard, Boyer, and Chase Elliott barely squeaking by, so... Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the reshake does, but once again, this number 28 Procore Chevy back in victory lane. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. For the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode, I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.